Hey everybody out there. It's Travis here on the ones and twos. Bring me another delightful Thursday stream. Tickle your attention span. It's just me right now, but without further ado, I'm going to get to it. Uh, if you were here last week, you might have seen me trying to animate here in Clip Studio. But this time, this time, I think I cracked the code. I think I figured it out. So here we go! As you can see, I already uh, laid down some panels here, or at least the sketches up. So we'll kind of go through here. Uh, this is going to be for a, a chat emote, ideally. It's going to be a little dancing snake. So I'll show you. Nope, didn't want to do that. Nope, stop it. Right after I said I thought I figured it out. Come on. Easy peasy. So, uh, we're going to run through here and kind of see what it's going to look like, or at least the, the keyframes I have sketched out so far. So yeah, uh, you may have seen me try to animate this exact thing before, but I did it in Blender. Nope, stop that. Uh, and the issue with Blender, as I think I said, is that it it autos to uh, vector, and that's just not it's not ideal for what we're looking for here. It's not a good format for uh, drawing out emotes because they they get shrunk down so small, so teeny tiny. But uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to line in these these keyframes, and then we're going to do some in-betweens. Some tweens! Uh, so, let's find... Let's see how the good pen looks. I like that. I do even worry that... Nah, we're working so small here. I like it, but I don't think it'll work. That'll be nice. Uh, I do worry that I may even be working too big. And I worry that any kind of small bits are going to be lost. Not even so much lost as that I'm worried they're going to muddle together as they're shrunk down. But, you know, this is how we learn. This is how we grow. And Twitch, because we're catering to their... Uh, their standard sizes. Um, it has to be small enough that it can be visible at the size of an emoticon, but also it has different scaling options to where it scales up based on what you're viewing it on. And that's where things get a little dicey. And that's where Travis has to really learn some shit. I would love to be good at this out the gate, as I would everything, and it's the reason I'm not better at more stuff now, because if I'm not immediately good at something, my first impulse is to give up. No longer! No longer! As you may have seen in some of our art streams, I've been learning a lot, and... Dakota has been teaching me a lot, and I've been uh, actually trying to re-up on my, my studies and, I don't know, really buckle down again on working on my craft. But, you know, it's hard. I just don't have that, that single-purpose drive that I... Peg so many great creators I follow as having. I'm sure they struggle as well. Because I could just 
sit here and play Tears of the Kingdom. But, but I'm not. Because I want to get better at this. And I want y'all to be part of it. So if you're out there in chat land, make some noise. And I thought I had this locked and loaded last week. Um, as I previously said, I did not after all was said and done. Um, but yeah, I, I've been in a creative slump, a creative dearth lately. And I don't know if that's, I don't know what's causing it, but who does? I don't know if it's from lack of inspiring content. I don't know if it's from just the deluge of content I have been consuming. I don't know if it's some other extraneous reason. Maybe it's just life. Sometimes life's full of roadblocks. Uh, but, you know, it's... It's all a part of the process. So I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna take new action, create new thought. As someone much wiser than myself once told me. And so here we are, drawing a snake. A little tongue flit there. And we're going to go to... I believe six is... Well, first we're going to copy that. And we're going to go to 12. Then we're going to paste. This is so weird. I don't understand why it doesn't show up in the timeline. I have to, so that's number two. I have to use this to assign number two to this part in the timeline. Clip Studio, if you're listening, fucking why? Blender's got it. Blender makes a whole lot of sense. Not that Blender's lacking. If I could exclusively use Blender, I would be. Because it's free, it's smart, it's fun, it's thoughtful, it's intuitive. That's the word I'm dancing around. And, God, it just makes sense. All right, why are we scooted here? All right, we're going to go on 24. Also, I don't get this naming convention. You've got 1, 2, 1A. Come on. And add 1A there. We're going to jump to 6, because that's where the onion skinning on. I do. Um, I'm going to add a new cell. So I am discounting the the immense amount of time it took me to learn in Blender. And, you know, I'm not a coder. I'm just an artist. And so I can only make demands from the end of things. I'd love to really sit down with, with somebody who's coded some of these softwares and really get behind the, like, just the thought process behind it. And I'm also not even an animator, I'm an amateur. Ought to get on the Adobe Suite because, I mean, they're industry standard for a reason, but, you know, my anti-corporate rebellious anti-capitalist mindset also tells me, nah, hold out, hold out, son. I 
He's a happy snake because he is grooving. As am I. Got this. I believe this is Samba playing. I don't know the. I don't know music well enough to make a lot of distinctions between certain genres. But I don't know when something is Samba, whether it's Marimba. No, Marimba is an instrument. Uh, mamba. Um, turn off onion skinning for just a moment. I'm going to turn it back on because I'm not confident. I'm going to turn that off so that I can see where it's moving from because I don't want this kind of coil he's in to, to really move around too much. There's a little, a little jitter in there. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll add more, a more natural look to his movements. I know it was like kind of slightly jittery animation. It adds a little bit of life to it. lets me know that you know somebody put a lot of effort and time into making those motions and making those frames and maybe that's not everybody's thing and I can respect that some people like that fluid smooth motion smoothing 4k look but it doesn't work for animation Also, I'm out here in Dead Man's, Dead Man's Saloon. It's our Discord channel. Uh, if you'd like to make it into the saloon, let me know. I'd like to send you an invite. Be more than happy to. But, uh, unfortunately, we had to, or preemptively, Decided to restrict access because, uh, you know, we want to we want to keep it a nice place for the people. We want to keep a reputable establishment. As you see, this is a little uh paintbrush tail on our what would normally be a rattlesnake here. I haven't come up with a, a fun, clever pun name of what it should be. A hmm. Something off of rattle, something off of hog nose, I don't know. Maybe we just name them. Like party or Respect uh, video game streamers this much more for uh, how they're able to just scream into the void like this. But you know, here's the mind killer. Is that right? from 
12, so to 18, yeah. We're going to turn off in skinning for, we're going to put in a new cell. As you can see on the sketch, I just flipped the snake around, but want this to I don't know, maybe I just keep this start here. We'll start with this curve. Yeah, we'll just keep his head like this. There's only one side in which you see his full face. Curves in there. Draw, trace this green line here, but there's a lot of muddiness on the screen right now. Get a little brush there. Just turn off this layer. And just draw right over this. Maybe even in the middle, I'll either in the middle of the ends, I'll cut out that little black, make it a little more special. We're figuring this out together. Let's see here. Sorry if my mic sounds rough. Uh, Working on that as well. But if you out there have any recommendations for a good a good mic with its own sound filters that cut out a lot of room noise. I know some of that software. Uh, I just have not found a setup that really that can cut out that background noise and not silence me. But hey! You'd rather me be silence? Let me know. Bring it in the chat. Hello, Bat. Thank you for coming out. So now, if we just play. Look at him go. So then I think we'll we'll begin at the beginning, as many good things do. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go to that four frame. That's me curse with the X. Uh oh. You know, I thought that only affected fish. But I'm sorry to hear you're feeling yucky. That's rough.
Another thing, because I'm using a uh, Clip Studio Pro and not Double Plus or whatever, it limits me to 24 frames. So it limits me to frame size rather than length or anything, which is kind of whack. But I think for an emote, it should get our purposes across, but it's just not going to have that that smoothness of animation maybe I would prefer. Uh, yeah, if you want to link your mic info, that'd be cool. Uh, get in my DMs. I know you know them, but... Um, yeah, I've been looking at some Sennheisers. It's just working on a on a budget and then misallocating that budget to... Well, I wouldn't say misallocating, but allocating that budget to many different things because I have ADHD and need to have at least six different projects going on that I can ignore all of. And so whichever one catches my fancy or actually has a deadline is, uh, is what kind of makes its way to the top of the pile. which kind of makes me an unreliable career artist, but I know, I know the industry. So, well, I don't know the industry. I know other artists who also have ADHD and So, you know, you gotta find one who doesn't. We're gonna race up here. Oh, you know what? Go here on one. And erase that. And so he's only gonna on every other middle cycle stick his tongue out. Do a stack of whips and same. Yeah, it's it's tough out there, friends. And even trying to... I was nervous seeking out uh, medical treatment for ADHD. And, you know, I finally decided to pursue it because I've heard that medicine does help people. And then I got burned on it because our medical system is hot shit. So, yeah, unless you're very affluent. Um, I don't know, learn to fucking deal, I guess. That's basically what I... Uh, basically what I was told to do by a medical practitioner, but um, if you are looking for ADHD treatment, um, do your research so you can kind of expedite the process because it's not, it's not an effective system. It's an expensive system. It is... So fucking whack.
Two meds without insurance is 90 for 30 days. Jeepers, that's $3 a day. Maybe if you wouldn't buy your Starbucks coffees all day, then you can afford the debate. Nah, it's... And I mean, you learn coping skills and everything with it, but... I mean, that's all you do. That's all you can do. And just... Our mental health system especially is so... fragmented. Because you have psychologists... Or, I'm sorry, you have counselors who are just going to talk at you or barely say anything and expect you to do all the work. Um, and so that's kind of a crapshoot. Uh, you have psychologists who will give you a wishy-washy diagnosis but never do anything about it. And then you have psychiatrists who are go-to medication, but there's no... Give me somebody who's the trifecta. Somebody who's like, who will put in the time that a, a therapist will and be like, okay, maybe medicine would be a good idea. And then uh, be like, oh, hey, go pay 600 more dollars to do anything about this. It's... Your college has free resources for mental health. That's really cool. More institutions should do that. Like the US government. But nah, we don't get nice things out here. And that's the way we like it, because we're free! Sorry to be such a, a Debbie Downer on stream, everybody. But if, you, if you've been following along, you'll know that that's just who I am. I am Debbie. Oh boy, giving me extra work? While animating? I've got to enlarge Kirby, you monster. Alright, so we got this tween pretty well taken care of. Um, we got two frames to make this motion work here. So we'll move on to the next. So between 13 and 6. 12 and 6? Or is that a 13? Uh, we'll see how this works out. I'm going to do a little cheat here. Nope. Going to take this one. Roll C. Roll V. And that creates layer... Five. Uh, go over to uh, the panel we were just on, panel ten. Wait. No, yes, this is good. Layer five. So if he's clicking that way now I have to change the motion of the tail here. Uh, 
Abin. That's some of the roughness I hope gets worked out. Man. All the weights at the point, so. Drag it down. Coming off that that flick there. This has to be out of the screen entirely before the next cycle starts. So that's gonna move pretty fast. In fact, we're just gonna create some Fun little blur there. Nervous for classes to start. Yeah, it's it's a lot to take on uh, all at once. But you know the rhythm is the rhythm can be good for you. I slept through a lot of my classes, unfortunately, not by choice. It was just a habit built up. And I have to keep with the, keep up with all that. All right. So because no, this is eighteen. 13. Exact middle down here, and it's here at 16, right? No, is it, it? Wait. What have I done? 18, 13. 1, 2. Ah, see, I gotta count this as one of the edges. Go between eight, three. Could meet in the middle here at two, up three. Oh uh, well, not even. Um, okay. You said. That jaw fits about here. Start with the neck. That seems easier. Ooh, we got some Bossa Nova vibes going on. I'm a big fan of Bossa Nova. My favorite parts of Final Fantasy 15 was just hanging out at that, that beach resort and listening to some Bossa Nova vibes while they served me good food. Specifically, I love some, like, piano bossa nova like this. Arcue. They make sense, but... 
to call that some rubber banding. So in order to sell that, we're gonna have that head kind of whip. Create some goofy points of motion here. So this one's the furthest point is out to kind of lag behind because that's how rotational velocity works. And this is where the blood actually is. So the tongue is going to be going in here. What classes are you taking, Bat? Extra here. Hopefully it all comes out in the wash. It's a little wiggle room with animation. And boy do I like to get sloppy with my art. Got grit to it. Tail here. There's the paint. It's going to have to swish and flick in just those couple of frames. We'll go here to get 24 and 18, two. No, oh, that's not right at all. 21. I'm gonna get to that tongue in 24. Remember, the blep is special. And then that's going to be whipping back. Going to be whipping back. Gonna do kind of the reverse of what we did last time and kind of create this oblong motion. Now the axis of motion doesn't exactly line up, but again we get to be a little sloppy. Pardon me. I didn't want to sneeze on Mike there, so I hope that didn't pick up. Nope, my mute still works. I'm always nervous whenever OBS updates what's going to actually carry through. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. Draw in between these lines here. 
between the Lions. Boy, did I burn through a lot of defunct land while at work. The reason I thought of that is because Between the Lions was a one of the shows they touched on on defunct TV. And Evan Berger just put so much research into all of his videos. And I mean, it, it always just seems to be like a a deep dive history, never like a, I mean, rarely like a skewed perspective. Um, I respect him so much as a documentarian more than anything. Because it's just that, it's like a history, there's never some kind of ulterior motive or it's just content about content. And I find it very interesting. If y'all haven't checked out Defunct Land stuff, like, you're missing out. You're only doing yourself injustice. Though it is very niche, I guess, in that it's about theme parks and uh, TV shows over the years. But he did a whole series on Jim Henson and the Muppets that was really phenomenal. And I think the Muppets, it's safe to say, are pretty universal. You're not a fan of the Muppets, like, you're not even a fan. If you have any just taste for the Muppets, like, it sounds like a you problem. Flip here, for like a breakaway point. So when we watch it back. Might even double time this. Well, we'll see how it all comes out in the wash. Um, we at least get those queens in. There's some cleanup to do for sure. All right, now we get down to the real nitty gritty. Wonder if way to ah, uh, there's a shortcut for in betweens on Clip Studio, but I don't think it'll register quite how I need it to. Okay, so we're going to make a new cell here. It's going to be the start of the head turn. Start with throat here. It's a nice little... It's easier to track the arc of motion on that than it is up here because I didn't create a good arc of motion up here. And there are these wide gaps in which I can draw right in between. And I can decide if, you know, if I move it more over this way, it's going to create some jitter in the motion. So I can either make it really smooth by drawing it right in between here, or I can move it one way or the other to 
speed up the motion or slow it down. It just creates delay at one point or another in the in the motion. A little late to the game, but I started a uh, Good Omen season two tonight because I ate some dinner. Um, that shows a delight. Harry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman are incredible writers, and we talked about magic systems on a pre previous episode in writing, and I love how. Like, if I'm thinking of just kind of a magic exists and it's kind of nonsense and that's why it's magic, uh, both of those writers are incredible. Um, like, sometimes magic exists just as a set up for wordplay, and I love that. I tend to include a lot of that in... D&D campaigns, much to the chagrin of my players. But, you know, I don't... I don't plan on stopping. Change. There we go. Here's a good line. There's not. This is where the in betweening becomes difficult because parts we have to trace. Because, like I said, I like jitter, but I'm not going for like a home movie style drawing where everything is super, super wavy, kind of unsettling. Look at him. He's so happy. I'm happy that he's happy. Even if his happiness is just an artifice of my own construction. I'm happy that I can make something so happy. Okay, so there's no brush leading into brush. Gotta go between four and six, so we've got two twins in there. Um, this is where it gets tricky, and I have to decide what motion's gonna happen where. This is good, because that gives me two twins to make this happen. We're going to 
new cell. From the first to two, so I've got this motion to cover right here. So do that. This motion. Is that. Because it's a turn, I'm covering more of the distance of the nose. If you're in here and you're listening to me talk about animation, don't. There are so many more experienced creators who can help you so much more. But if you are in here, I appreciate it, and we can figure this out together. And if you have any tasteful tidbits, I'd be happy to hear them. Um, we had D Battery uh, on the show, I guess, two weeks ago now. Um, and he's an animator. If you check out his YouTube, you can find some, some animations on there. Animator, game designer. I'm sure has more thoughtful things to say on the subject. You're listening now, Axum? Well, I appreciate you listening. You're gonna pick up some, uh, some bad habits listening to me. Like... If you're depressed, uh, smoke DNT and confront your demons. That's not actually great advice because I have smoked DNT and, and I'm still depressed. So here we are. better than Joe Rogan advice and I I could tiptoe over that hurdle So Joe Rogan just did just come out with a surprising statement about the Barbie movie. Um, I'm moving towards here. Uh, he had a more insightful take than I would have given him credit for about it being a movie and how it's not anti-men. Um, Saw the new Ninja Turtles yesterday. No Joe Rogan. Thought he was a mutant. Oh, he is. But maybe he'll be in Toxic Avengers. Uh, how was the Ninja Turtles movie? I really want to check it out. Like, I, I'm bummed that I haven't yet. I think this is to stay back more. I wanted to have more of that whip motion. The next one, there's going to be a lot of paint moving all at once. So I think I need to start that now. Carry this over. 
Can't get a good drop. There we go. Stressfully different from all the animated series movies they seem to do. Ah, uh, yeah. It. I mean, they've done a million of them, and yeah, the teenagers are voiced by teenagers this time around. Because before it was always, you know, high action. These teenage turtles are full grown men doing high action ninja stuff, fighting for the fate of the world. But, I mean, they're, they're kids. Stakes don't need to be so big. And that cast just has me ecstatic about the movie. I haven't seen Barbie yet, though. Uh, I mean, I think I've already gushed about Barbie on here, but just to reiterate it for the people in the back, uh, it's the funniest movie I've seen all year. It's so good. And it's poignant, but like... I don't know, the tone of the movie never seems to undercut itself, and I think that's a very strong point in its favor. Because it's silly, it has a lot to say, and, but it, yeah, sometimes it feels ham-fisted, but it's carried so well that it works. The turtles steal the show. That's good to hear. Because, I mean, it it has such, like, an all-star cast. And, all, like, almost all of them are playing villains. But I'm happy to hear that some rising stars are able to come up in the spotlight. All right, so this is going to be the tricky motion here. So I think point has to be more on this side. So take this end here. I did not think this through. So let me go in this way. I'll have to adjust this so that it splatters out here more. Or I'll have to adjust this so that it's more like thrown off. I'm gonna do. 
We're going to shrink this a little bit. that it's more pooling on the end of the tail. Then... Be such a big jump in that. But we're working with 24 frames, and this is what happens when you animate 24 frames. Let's see how that looks. It doesn't look terrible. Right here at a time. We have ten, seven, eight. Two cell. Do that. I'm going to start here at the throat. I got a little bit of range of motion, so and it's even on either side. Do that. That hog nose in there. I wonder if I can change the onion skinning colors. Because this blue gets kind of muddy with the, the black ink I'm using. Yeah, I don't like this. I'm going to change the whole face shape up here. Like that. His little lower lip there. The two wing out of the screen here.
have it map to this because sooner it makes that snap, or maybe we'll get close. Because I want it to feel like it's really, really just whipping off of there. Get the new cell to draw here. The only frame we get in between these two, so. That's no good. And I have to start here. And I definitely want it to be more side leaning. Let's see. Go from there to there. in between these, so... A little bit. This tail, pretty much where it is. It's gonna disappear behind the head. So I have to really make it curve up again. See how that looks. Where's the problem child at? Sorry, let this slide in here and it's bugging me.
two. Probably play back at double speed. Um, playback setting. Properties. Back speed. I'll change the play later after I get all these frames in. It looks like we're missing one more tween here. Should be an easy one. Start there. Start easing that in. Now that's that's too wide. I'm gonna make it closer to that side because it's widening out as we move to the bottom of his face here. Squish closer to here. Have to, have to, have to draw it several times. Yeah, that felt good to draw. If anyone's still listening out there, I am uh, looking for audiobooks to listen to that you might recommend. Um, I like high fantasy books, but I'm always looking to broaden my horizons. Um, the old one that's the new. Uh, I've been trying to find audiobooks of a book series called Seven Sisters, but it's not on my library app, unfortunately. I like the fantastical, but I've also found some really Interesting niche books that I've listened to. Um, 10,000 Weeks, I think is what it's called. Uh, no, 40,000 Weeks uh, is about, you know, it's a 
take on the grind set, you know, the the time management culture and just it gets into a lot of I don't know principles now about how that's not necessarily healthy for everyone. It goes into a lot of Taoism and kind of uh We got so many more queens to draw here. Um It just, it goes into the grind set with kind of a, what's the word I'm looking for? A critical analysis of it. And it doesn't, I mean, it was written before grind set was a thing, so it was just about, you know, kind of that time efficiency culture. Which has been around forever, but I'm just bringing it into modern parlance. But uh, it, you know, it just kind of rectifies that with living a normal human life. And that's something I struggle with constantly. I often feel like I'm mismanaging my time. I'm not always, I'm not always on my grind, I'll tell you. Let's see how this looks. First bit looks fun. Uh, what I think I want to do is have this play back in double time, but I'll get all these tweens worked out and then I'll uh, you know, do some fine tuning from there with just the line work. Um, in the meantime, though, I do unfortunately have to say adieu. I appreciate everybody who came out to see. Um, if you'd like to join us over at Dead Man's, feel free to shoot me a link. And I'll shoot you a link right back. It's just Monday at 8 p.m. And until then, later days. Later days.